The title is linked to the research that I've been um, conducting since a long time, which is uh, the relation between astronomy and cinema. And um, this piece um, that we see here in the beginning, which is called Drawn by the Pulse, and it carries also the title uh, of this exhibition. So the, the, the title means it's actually the discovery that is made by this uh, female astronomer Henrietta Swan Levitt who actually through her work we suddenly understood that the universe is much larger than everybody thought uh, before and um, this was a discovery that was then carried further through um, many male astronomers that we know the names in history very well like Hubble and Pickering who employed her uh, at the astronomy department but um, her achievement is just coming now slowly to the surface. So the way she, um, she discovered this um, was by detecting some stars that are uh, pulsating and she used them as measuring sticks and this pulsating was for me an in yeah, an incredible link to, to cinema through this idea of flicker and um, so using a cinematic um, um, technique to actually measure our space um, yeah, was this where the whole thing started and why the, the piece is called like that. I work very much with text and I, I'm interested in the way we um, read and edit text because I, it's this belief of not believing of a chronological uh, understanding of, of time. So it's, it's, um, it's a kind of um, interchangeable, like sometimes the past overshadows the future and we can only read the past by understanding um, certain aspects of the future and so on so it's like a, a, a constant a negotiation between the past and the future and the present and so um, the, this text pieces are um, you have to kind of become a very active reader you have to walk around and get the informations and also uh, how the text is treated in the films um, it's the idea of, an, of a loop so you have to actually um, see and read many times in order to, to build the narrative. I'm interested in general in all kinds of archives and ideas about archives. So in my landscape pieces I'm looking for uh, inscriptions that become archival memories of the progress of society and um, things that we can maybe not depict in the future anymore. It, I, I'm seeing these monuments in, in landscape sometimes, so I have made pieces where I'm filming nuclear waste uh, dams, for example, in the desert, and also with this idea, um, how are, are we having the instruments in the future to understand what this um, installations are since they will last much longer than even the existence of the Earth.